Hello everyone. So today we are going to be understand a circuit where we need to be find it out ninth complement of a BDC DC using a binary adder. Okay. So first of all, we already know that what is BCD number. BCD codes are basically the one way of the representation of the binary numbers of the decimal number. Okay. Suppose we have digits from one to nine. Okay. So binary equivalent in four digits will represent zero zero zero. Up to the nine, so binary representation of the nine is one zero 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 one. All right. So this is the representation where we will represent the binary digits of a decimal number. All right. So how we can find it out the ninth complement? So if suppose one BCD number is there, suppose nine is there. Okay. And what is the binary representation of this nine? This is going to be zero 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 one. And if we need to be find it out the ninth complement, so what we can do? Simply we have to we subtract this particular number. Suppose x is there from the nine. Okay. So by this way, whatever the result is there, we will consider it as the ninth complement of this particular number. Okay. So first of all, we should have to understand that we need to be draw one subtractor. Okay. So whatever the binary number is considered. Okay. Suppose we are considered suppose a BCD number that is x. Okay. This is the decimal number x is there, and we will convert it into the binary number. Okay, binary representation in the BCD form. So it will take your four bits. So use of the binary adder. Okay, so simply we make uh, make a four bit binary adder number, and we will put the complement. Okay, whatever the number we are putting over here, we need to be take a complement, and and we need to be pass that number to those uh, digits, and we need to make carry forward is equal to the one, and again we need to be put. Uh, Nine over here, okay? Because whatever the number is there, suppose this is x and this is going to be y. So binary adder, how it is going to produce the result? Simply, it will be subtract whatever this number is there with this number, okay? If we need to find it out, how we can find it out the complement of a particular BCD number? So at one port, you need to put one BCD number, okay? Suppose I am considering this port as for the BCD number, and on the another port, you need to be put it out the nine. Okay, so whatever the number is there, suppose nine minus x, it should be there to produce the result. Okay, so for one port, I need to put the complement of the number, and uh, I I make it subtract with a nine, and I will get the output. Okay, so here BCD number is there. I am going to put it here BCD, and I need to take a ones complement. After that, I can add one, so it will provide you the twos complement. So that's why I'm going to be consider one over here, and I'm going to put it out the ones complement at this number. So whatever the number is there in the not gate, I can put it here, and nine I will put here. So what you will get here? So you will get nine minus x over here. Okay. So whatever the output is there, this is going to be the nine. How we can draw this circuit? Okay. Come back to this circuit. Okay. And now if I'm going to be take one BCD number over here. And so, how how can I put? Suppose this uh, I already told you that I am considering four bit of x three, x two, x one, x not over here, and I need to put it a complement form over there. Okay, so I am going to take a not gate of these bits, and I am going to fit it into the circuit. Okay, so this is something. Now come back here. C x three, x two, x one, and this is going to be x zero. So what actually is going to be? They are going to produce. If C is going to be one, this is going to be produce. Minus x over here, and what is going to be there? This is nine because so how I can make it nine simply one zero 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 one. Okay, so uh, usually if whenever I use in my lectures ground, so you will consider it uh, as zero if I am going to be write it down VDD. So please consider it as one. Okay, so here simply I am uh, writing down one zero zero one. So whatever the output is going to be come at this port. So this is simply going to be a a uh, nine minus x. So whatever the number is coming out over here, this is going to be a complement, ninth complement of this number. Uh, hope you will understand this thing, okay? And one more thing, what we can do whenever we get technically stronger, we can use the external control signal, okay? How can we implement one extra uh, control signal so that we can know how we can do the things, okay? So simply, I am going to be take the XOR gate. This is my XOR gate, okay? You already know that if XOR gate some input X is given, and I am going to be put it one over here. This is going to produce X complement, okay? This is the most logical circuit we have. We have to use in uh, logic design, okay? Another, if uh, 
in the XOR, same XOR gate, if I am going to be put X as an input and another port, I am going to be put 0. This is going to be X only, okay. So, simply this is very important. If you are going to do XOR with 1, you are going to get X bar and if input X is there, you are going to be XOR with 0, you are going to be X only. Simply it act as a buffer, okay. Oh, so, you can use this XOR gate at the uh, not gate over here. So, or simply at one end, simply how you can make this circuit, you just uh, put the XOR gate over, over here, okay. If you put the XOR gate and you are going to be control, you are going to provide a one control signal that is C is equal to, suppose one is you are going to provide, so whatever the bit is coming, that is going to be complement, okay. And suppose this is the A3, again, uh, this is X3, this is X2, X1 and X0, okay. So, you will get the minus X. So, whatever the number you are going to put over here, you will get the complement of that BCD number and this is going to be 9 and you will get X minus 9 minus X. So, like this, you can generate your own circuit, okay. So, hope you will get how you can implement this circuit. You can make a use of XOR gate as a control signal and even you can use directly the NOT gate 